going to start over here with Mr. Reeves. Tell us what number it is and it is number really loud. Number eight, and this is spindle pulleys located inside. All right, so the spindle pulleys are in here. That's like the transmission. Anyone going to auto? So, so if you want to change gears, you want to make this go faster or slower, that's where you would do that. Okay? Number is it? Tell us what it is. Number two on the switch. Okay, that's a switch. And okay, way over here, so there's something way over here. It's behind the table. It's on the Ten column. Ten table walking group. Ten table no. walking clip. All right, say it really loud. Ten table mm -hmm. walking clip. All right, good. Lots of parts there. All right. Five table. So this is the table. The base. The base. Mm -hmm. Okay. Six column. This is the what? Column. Column. All right. Um. Seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's in. Seven in the base. Okay. Uh. This one. Isn't that really that a pilot feed there? Like lever. So it's the pilot feed lever. You need to make sure that you get all of that on the test. Alright. Ms. Mackey. Um, board. Alright. This oh, is safety guard. Number nine. Okay. And um, chuck. Okay, it's a chuck. And last. What number is the chuck? Three. of ice, but this one is going to be uh, on the drill press, or there will be one like it, um, such as this one. If you could carefully pass it from one person to another, use two hands. They're heavy. We want to make sure this is clamped to the table. Just pass it. Just pass it. I want you to get an idea that this is really important that you have your closed toe shoes. So just pass it. And it's got oil on it. It's right. nasty. It's oil. Okay. So we understand how heavy it is. So you'll notice inside, if you take a look at that one, you look at this one, what's right here? A hole. There's a hole. You need to make sure that the drill bit goes through this hole and that this hole is lined up with the hole on the table. All right? So make sure that the hole is lined up. And where you want to drill needs to be right over top of this hole. And it has to be lined up with this hole. So we're going to clamp that on one side. We'll leave the other one empty. And when you take the test, you're going to go over here to the bandsaw, right? We're going to finish up with the bandsaw. And then I have from yesterday a fantastic piece of wood that you cut. We're going to use that to set it up. So you'll place the wood in here. What do I need to do before I actually close the vise? Make sure it's lined up. So we want to make sure it's lined up, but what else do I need to be concerned with before I do this? Put the safety guard, the guard on. Well, we'll get the guard at the end. How about this? How high it is. Yeah, how high it is is going to be something we want to check. So I want to make sure that this goes down far enough. Is that going to go all the way? No. So we're going to adjust that. It's not on your list, but it is connected to your column. So we can make this go up or down. And then I'll check it again. So if you forget on the test, is that far enough? Yeah, it probably is a little too far. Not far enough. So we want to make sure that it's just right here. So it's different for everybody. You will see other vice in the classroom, so there are going to be some small ones out there, and we're going to have large ones on the tables over here. Uh, those will be bolted to the table. So we've got the depth properly now. Now we want to make sure that this is nice and tight. And we're going to adjust it because we want to get it close. I only have one clamp holding the vice down right now. 
because I want to make sure I can make this adjustment, make sure that's nice and tight. And then you can go ahead and put the second clamp on, make sure that it's still centered with the X, and lastly I'm going to lock this. Right? And it's just tightening it. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, but you have to think of looking down on that um, lever. For the test, I'm going to check and make sure your table is tight, that the vise is tight, and that the wood is tight. And then we have three adjustments for our guard okay, that moves around. You don't have to tighten it super tight, just make sure that it's not moving. And it should cover the blade or the bit and just right above the material. Any questions? So last thing I have to do before um, this machine is all set up, what, I, what else do I need to make sure I've checked? Your hair. Your hair. Okay. Your hair. As long as you check it before you start, you're good. Okay, what else? Okay. Okay. okay, make sure everything's tucked in. Okay, did it good? We're ready? I'm going to ask that you put your left hand behind your back for the drill press. Everything is set up. You do not need two hands. Any left-handed people here? It's a right-handed machine. You have to use your right hand. Okay? So, this is what you're going to use. You can turn it on and off right here. Any questions? All right, let's so. You want to back it off a little bit just so that um, it keeps the splintering. that it didn't stop right away either, better than the other one. When you choose one of these for the pilot feed lever, whichever one you choose, you need to follow it all the way through. You don't change these. You hold on to the one, and it turns. So we check that. Loosen the vise only. You don't need to loosen anything else in case you need to do this again. Okay? Are we good? Any questions? That sounds good.